Hi guys, this is Kelly once again from Bond Machines and today I'll be reviewing the Brother Paint Setter 605 sewing machine. Okay, it's a pretty strong machine made by Brother Company and um, it's also known as the Brother Chain Stitch um, sewing machine. It has 10 inbuilt designs which is indicated here and um, I'll quickly run through the features and do some couple of stitches with the machine. Okay, um, like I said, it's a machine made by the Brother Company and um, over here we have double thread stand as usual for the twin needles um, we have this um, knob here and this here this is the selector for these um, um, designs we have here and it has an indicator which is this um, white cursor you have here okay um, the tension system is actually up and I will run through the threading process right now okay right here you have um, the bobbin winder you have this which is the stitch length regulator okay it has from four to about zero okay right here is for the back stitch all right when you press this knob down it um, back stitches now you have um the needle position here which is the lmr the left middle and the right bottom holes and this indicator here from zero to five is when you want to sew any of the designs here so by default if you're sewing the regular straight stitch it has to be on zero okay and um, if you want to sew any of the designs here that's when you move the cursor down to five or there about all right the motor is actually at the back your electric motor is at the back and in case you want to use it with a treadle you just have to remove this belt down screen this screw here and removing the belt all right it uses um your regular shuttle and bobbin mechanism all right and there you have it okay I already have one there and you tread from front to back okay it has a lightning system which is here and um, I'll quickly um, over here right is for the what brings down the feed dogs which is this all right I'll quickly run through the treading and probably show you how to wind your bobbin in case you want to do so when you get your machine all right guys winding your bobbin is very easy okay firstly you has to from the tread here as a a little um if i say knob here you make sure the thread passes through the middle of it inside of it okay because that's what stretches the thread then you go all the way down to this place and you wound your thread just about i think clockwise on it then you push the just push it to touch the um the just push it forward all right so when i match the um, electric pedal it will actually wound the bobbin all right guys so that's how you so just remember from here down to that place then okay so that's just the mechanism all right so when you're able to get the desired quantity you want you just push it back out and that's it all right so i will be going through the trident process and also i would um show you how to pass the thread and do some couple of stitches with the machine okay guys threading the machine is quite easy all right from here it goes all the way down all right that's a small um i think a small hole passage here passes through here then it goes through the tension. Like I told you earlier, the tension is at the top. So it passes inside the tension. Make sure you lift the footer up when you're passing the thread um, on the tension, okay? So it goes down all the way there. Then it comes up and passes through this um, loop carrier or this thread carrier, okay? You see that? So it passes from, from the left-hand side to the right-hand side and it goes all the way down to this place then down to this hoop here, then down to this place, then you tread from front to back, okay? I'll just go over it one more time. From here, it passes through a small passage here, hole here, then it runs all the way from here down to the tension, okay? There's a small tension plate here, okay? Passes through there, then passes through this um, hoop right here, there's a small hole here, just passes through here, goes up, then from left to right, it goes, this, goes to the um, tread carrier, okay, you see that? From left to right then from there it goes all the way down to this place this place then you thread from front to back so I'll actually thread the needle and do the stitches with the machine okay guys um, like I said earlier um, in order for you to do the regular stretch stitch okay 
uh, make sure that this is on the zero cursor all right so when it's on zero and of course my middle position i'll be using the middle part which is the m and i'm leaving the stitch length on four okay so when i sew through now all right so there you have it that's the back side and there's the front okay so you can actually reduce the stitch length to get a much more um finer stitch so you just adjust this let's say i'm using number two all right so That's a much much more tinier stitch than the first one okay so um, I'll be sewing any of the design here in order to do that you just have to press this down and you adjust this like I told you the white thing there is the cursor like um, is the indicator for the stitch you're sewing so I'll have to return it to M so I can sew um, the regular stitch and other ones all right all right I haven't placed the cursor on the M so I'm sewing the um, if you want to sew the zigzag like i told you you need to adjust this so i'm pushing this down and bringing it to meet up at five all right so when i sew now so that's it and um, you can actually reduce the or increase the stitch length probably because uh, it's too close and all right that's for the regular zigzag there you have it I reduce the stitch length here and I increase it further so I'll just be adjusting it on intervals I mean the stitch length so I can show you um, other designs and how it sews another design So nine. So I'll just sew seven and um, two on one, okay? That's number seven. Okay, it has this uh, butterfly shape. I'll just sew two and one. Number two. Okay, so that's um, seven, two, and I'll sew um, number one. guys there you have it that's the brother pay setter scissor five like i said earlier it's a very strong machine heavy duty machine and shows through all materials including the jean which i'm using in the video and also um stretchy fabrics okay um also remember like i always say in my videos all the machines i review on this platform i make sure i service them for optimum performance okay so probably you have yours and it's not working the same way or something or maybe you need to go for servicing but my machines are all serviced and they make sure i make sure they work optimally all right so um also if you want to do the buttonhole i have a video here on my channel on how to use the needle position which is the lmr for buttonhole function so make sure you watch watch that and um Please subscribe to my channel for other reviews and subsequently I'll be doing um, videos on how to um, 
troubleshooting machines in case you're having some problems some DIY you can do it yourself at home so make sure you always subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button for new videos alright thank you so much for watching and God bless you